everyone and welcome to episode 20 and what I'll be talking about today is common misconceptions people have when starting up and using Evernote. Now Evernote, for anyone who doesn't know, is a note-taking application that comes on iOS, Android, Blackberry even, and iOS. And it basically allows you to take notes using lots of multimedia formats, so that's text, uh, images, photos, reminders, lists, uh, audio, anything you want. And it's basically a on-the-go note-taking application um, that is really, really powerful. So a lot of people, when they start using Evernote, Evernote quite le they, they, they freak out um, at the thought of using such a powerful tool within their day. And usually they kind of sign up and then give up a couple of weeks after. But for the ones that stay around, there's lots of productivity um, that can come out of this and lots of time saving. And what I would do is, if you're starting to use Evernote again, these are three top tips that I would go into and start using Evernote. So on Evernote, a lot of people go away and they start adding notes straight away. And this can be a problem. When you add these notes and you don't have an infrastructure in place, it becomes hard in the future to start adding notes um, and bringing in notebooks. And what notebooks are, they essentially folders for certain things. So the notebooks feature comes straight off and you get as many notebooks as you want. And I've got notebooks for anything. And I'm just going to use um, education as an example here. So I've made notebooks on five, um, six, sorry, of my modules in university at the moment. So what I did before I started using Evernote is actually create those notebooks before uh, adding the notes and information, because then I had some infrastructure to start adding the notes to. Um, and it really helped with the organization side of stuff. So number one, start adding notebooks um, before you create the notes to add to those notebooks, if that makes any sense. <laughs> The next thing is tags. Now, once you've started adding notes to these notebooks and you've got a lot of information, so you might have a couple of lectures um, for five different or six different modules, and you, you're seeing the Evernote's becoming a really good place to store those kind of, uh, that kind of information. But you've got an exam coming soon, and you want to be able to see uh, all of the exam revision notes with a click of a button. So what you do when you create the notes, as you go along, you tag, <clears throat> that was weird, you tag things. Um, and when you tag things, um, it basically filters out all of, um, it filters out the, it, it takes the uh, notes that have the tag and bring them together. So for example, if I were to uh, go into on here, the tags, that, uh, the notes that I tagged lectures, if I go into here, I can see all the lectures that I, all the notes that I tag with lectures, and it saves me a lot of time. Instead of having to go through all those different notebooks and find all those different lecture notes, I can see it all better when it, all within one feed, and that's through different notebooks too. So using the lecture, um, using the tags as a feature um, can help you save time when bringing together information. So it could be exam information, lecture information, minutes for a meeting, meetings, agendas, all those kind of things. Really, really powerful technology. The final thing when using Evernote is when you create a note, you can also add a reminder to it. And what a reminder does is it allows you, um, so you've written that note, and I've made uh, agendas in the past, and I used, to ha I used to forget that they were there. And then when it comes to meeting, I have to go and search for it. But what you can do with this latest feature, I mean, it's a year old now, um, is it's a reminder um, that it just nudges you uh, at the time you want that note to uh, pop up. So essentially, if I go on to, if I've got an agenda here, I can choose, I don't know whether it's going to zoom in. Uh, it should do. There we go. Okay, so I can choose the date I want to see this specific agenda. So it could be tomorrow, uh, and then I click done, and it will pop up at that specific time I told it to, saving a lot of time me having to search note, as well as looking really smooth and smart when I'm in that meeting and the agenda just pops up ready uh, before we start talking, which is fantastic. So those three features there, making the notebooks, the, um, the, the reminders, and also the tags can be really, really effective when you're starting out using Evernote. 
I really appreciate your time, guys, and I really want you to check out my other videos. I'm doing loads more videos. I think I've filmed six in this week, so it's definitely something that you can go away and start implementing. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I want you to have a fantastic week. Thanks very much, guys.